yo me volví a meter Hey guys, welcome to our channel, Why Not Now? So what are we doing today? We have no idea. We are actually just pretty much gonna give you a day in the life vlog here in beautiful Santiago de Querétaro, Mexico. Now, should we know better than to be going out at the peak of the heat, of the peak of the sun? Yes, it's 3.30 p.m. here and it is scorching hot. It's probably about 90. It's, uh, it's that warm, desert, dry heat, but we're walking into Central, see what we can get into. Uh, let's just do a quick, you know, impromptu vlog. May take you guys into La Comera. There's a new one um, that we haven't been to just yet. It's over on Zaragoza. I hear that um, they're still doing construction. I wanna go ahead and see if I can take advantage of that and take you guys in there with us. I wanna uh, possibly make some burgers on the grill, maybe even some barbecue chicken, I don't know. But, um, Maybe we'll go ahead and uh, let you guys see how we uh, how we marinate our meat and uh, check out what we do when we're at home. So we'll bring you along with us. All right, guys. So let's go. We're just walking down the uh, regular streets here and forgive me guys my husband is the camera pro so if you see that this quality isn't as good not bad because I'm not bad but not as good as his then you know it's because I'm holding the camera all right guys let's go so we are on Septiembre de 17 calle so September 16th street um, I like walking you know when most of the locals are smart and stay out of the sun because I get to really show you guys what the uh, nice quiet streets look like over here and just how peaceful it is and you know just regular day you know no crowds I don't have to worry about uh, filming and you know trying to dodge people so as you can see here just a local area nice colorful buildings I, I always appreciate just seeing just you know not necessarily all of the um you know in the in the middle of the center where everything looks pretty but i want to see everything that's pretty but just local and just natural like let's just check it out as it is as it's meant to be shown we got bonafont there they actually deliver water um you know for a while we did a video on uh, how to get your water and we had no clue that we had no clue that um, they delivered the water until one of our lovely viewers told us. Thank you for that. But if you want to check out how you can uh, how you can go ahead and change your water got a phone, I'm sure we have a video out there for that. But we actually uh, now get our water delivered to our home. There's no charge, guys. If you want a tip, if you pay, so that's on you. But they deliver it to your house for free. Uh, Agua Ciel does it. Bonifant does it. And uh, what we do is we kind of interchange between two brands. Occasionally we'll walk to the store and do our Bonifant. And then we'll have Agua Ciel delivered that way when we don't feel like, well not when we, when my amazing husband doesn't feel like lugging those two big jugs to the corner store, we can have it delivered. It comes at once a week, um, depending on your area and days of the week. Uh, for us, I think it's on Saturday morning, but it depends on where you live. So. If you hear me out of breath, guys, I'm sorry. It is, uh, as you already know, hot and we are walking, so I'm going out of breath here. All right, let's turn back around. All right, guys, I'm going to show you around. I think we're going to walk up here. We're going to make a right, possibly on Cinco de Mayo. Straight ahead. My husband took the camera. That means I was doing a terrible job, guys. <laughs> No, it doesn't mean she's doing a terrible job. She, she was just saying she was out of breath, so I just decided to jump he in and in. help out. Hey guys, I'm asthmatic. Been born that way. God bless. It's gotten a lot better, but it can be hard sometimes with asthma and the heat. You guys know how it is. 
who suffer from any respiratory issues. You know how it is. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm from the <laughs> south, and the heat is um, it's equivalent or a little bit more more fuerte, more strong over here. With the sun rays and everything. But we came out. My wife wanted to come out. I was like, Are you sure? Do you wanna <laughs> do you not want to wait till it's a little bit later? But she said, Oh, let's just go out. So here we are. So. You know what, I have a question for you guys that live in either Queretaro, Mexico, or other parts of Mexico um, that are dry climate like how it is here. <clears throat> I wanna know, ladies, help me out. You know how it is when you find a product that works for you but then you move somewhere and you can't find it somewhere else? Well, I want to know two things. Give me your tips on the pelo, okay, the hair. I need to know, give me a good shampoo and conditioner that is not harsh that is easy on the hair that helps with dryness if you guys know of any products that are affordable i'm all about affordability now don't send me to get something expensive because i'm not going to buy it and also i have always had um redness on the chin i don't know if it's a form of rosacea i never cared to really look into it like that when i started this um but I would like to know if you ladies suffer from redness on the skin. Mine is always kind of pretty much uh, on my chin area for the most part. What do you guys use? I've tried everything from, you know, Cetaphil to Dove, you know, just washing with simple water and soap, any and everything. Um, even some homemade remedies, but sometimes I get the flare up, especially in the heat. So if you guys recommend something for redness of the skin that's natural, I want to know that too. All right, guys, we on these little side streets. I'm gonna show you sometime they have these restaurants over here. Tacos and agua chiles. Yeah, and there's another one right here. Barbacoa de res, tacos as well. And you always come across little restaurants, little eats over here on the side. And uh, we may do a video about finding little street eats or we're all about affordability, cheap eats and stuff. We're not trying to go into the restaurants all the time and get the big expensive plates and all that type of stuff that that's not our we're not cut from that cloth <laughs> um not that we don't do it we can't do it and stuff like that it's just that we we're all about being affordable that's one of the reasons as well why we moved down here to mexico all right continue on with our walk are we making it right here husband my husband knows the city in and out like the back of his hand now See, sí, Claudio okay, Casey. Sí. We're gonna turn right, right here. This is Cinco de Mayo. Okay. And the city is orange right now, so you're starting to see a lot more people orange come out and about. In, in the COVID status. Yeah, guys. in the COVID status. They have a traffic light system here in Mexico. We talked a bit about that in, in our other videos, um, and I'm happy to give you guys the government website here in Mexico if you want to check on the status as it changes every day. Yep, all the time. So that's why you, you're starting to see a lot of people come out and about, starting to see a lot of more tourism pick up over here. You see the people with the umbrellas over there. So you guys know that we're not lying, it's, it's hot. It is hot. As another question I have, the dolls. I always see these dolls everywhere here. And I wonder if there's a special meaning behind it. I see it on Papua. Buenas tardes. <laughs> I don't know if it's just a special meaning as far as um, specific to Santiago de Querétaro or just all of Mexico, but they have it on pocketbooks and um, you know wallets. And I see the dolls like in restaurants and they're really beautiful. And I've even seen some ladies making them uh, in the street. So if you guys can and give I us think, more information about that. I think it's the, would it happen to be like the freedom? You know the Frida doll, the Frida. The, the cook? I, yeah. I don't. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Okay. I don't. I don't know. Maybe my husband. Got so you guys know? Um, comment. Comment below in our. If you guys really know. Alright guys, we're over here walking around on Antigua Street. Trying to make it to uh, 
La Comer. Yeah, we're trying to head over towards La Comer. It's another area over here. It's more of the local side of things. Show you a little front view. Uh oh, you got somebody out there dancing. Look like uh -oh. he, he wants somebody to dance with him. They have little shops here. That's a pharmacy. Oh. You stand outside the pharmacy. Oh. Hola, amigo. <laughs> We're walking around. It's, it's real hot. I know he's, he's burning up in there. Continuing to walk down and we come across this right here. We had this in one of my previous videos um, where the Cretano sign is and it's still out there. I just find that to be very, very beautiful. That's just nice. You see a lot of people over there on the patio. That's what I was saying, guys. It's starting to open up over here because of the color code system going on. We're gonna continue walking and go up to the La Comer and um, hopefully try to get some footage for you guys up in there. All right guys, so we're continuing our walk. Just wanted to show you again some of the local uh, blocks here, the areas. I mean, I, I love coming through these areas because that's where I find the hidden gems. I find just the really good food, the, the affordable eats, um, friendly people love it check out this site guys <laughs> very handsome so we're continuing our walk down here let's cross over watch out for this uh, car here get to show you so this is like not too far from Zaragoza do we know what street is no no okay well See, we got some quick eats. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> All right. And guys, you may see like some of the, like up front, um, the walls and the buildings look like they kind of like run down. out and mm -hmm. run down. I know in, in the United States, we look at that as, Oh, we are in we are in a rough neighborhood. We in a low budget, low class this and low class that. But over here and even over in over in Europe and stuff like that, graffiti and things like that, that doesn't it doesn't make a neighborhood. No, it doesn't at all. Over yeah. here, it's just history with everything over here. So they just decide to leave it as is mm -hmm. because um, um, we the couple we met previously at the farmers market, they were telling us how they bought a, a old historic home and they have all these rules where they can't tear down walls. Mm -hmm. they can't how old was that home again? Do you remember? It's 200, over 200 years old. That's amazing. And that, that's, that's crazy. I don't think you ever find anything like that in the United States, to my knowledge. So. Yeah, everybody, everybody wants new in the States. Everything new, new, new. You know, if you buy a home that is, uh, God forbid, older than the, I don't know, late 90s, it's a big, big deal. I mean, and I get it for the purpose of, like, you don't want to have to deal with, like, lead or you know, plumbing issues, but a lot of homes, you know, even if they're older, a lot of people have gutted them out and renovated them, but people just prefer newer and modern. And I, I just really enjoy um, when things are preserved and, 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 and the beauty is kept there. So again, like my husband was just mentioning, when you are uh, walking through neighborhoods and you see graffiti, you know, whether it be here in Mexico or in Europe, people just love art and it does not signify um, a dangerous neighborhood like how we are Condition to believe in the states. So, good point, husband. Yeah, over in the states, we have this um, form of paranoia, you know, in these bad areas or whatnot, and it, it's not like that over here. It, it's a it's a culture shock to you over here. When you come over here, you realize like it's not like that. Now, I'm pretty sure in some areas, but what we experienced, nope, not yeah, at all. Bad things. I mean, again, too, and it, it it also depends, I think, on the kind of person that you are, um, how you grew up, because. 
everything is relative relative right everything is relative so if you you're not used to certain things yeah. um and you just haven't had a lot of exposure which is not the case with us um we grew up very well-rounded and lived in many different places <laughs> very well-rounded <Yep. laughs> um and uh you know again it just depends on the person but Mexico is a beautiful, beautiful country, beautiful place. Does every place has have its have its problems? I've said this a million times before. I'll continue saying it again. Yes, everybody has problems. Are there issues here? Or is there crime here? Sure, just like there are in any country. Because you know why? The key. People live there. People are the ones that mess things up. Yeah. People, human beings. So people live there. They're gonna mess stuff up. So unfortunately, that's what it is. So there are good and there are bad people everywhere. And that's just what it is. All right, let's turn around, guys. Check it out. Check it. What? Lime green, huh? I see a lot of um, colorful cars here too. I saw a bunch of orange cars, green cars, purple. Yeah, a lot of older cars. Yeah. Oh, is this a public restroom? Oh, nice. Okay, because usually you have to pay. Oh, okay. So it's not. No, they have a key. Yeah, they have a key. So usually. Uh, the public restrooms over here you have to pay something we mentioned this in one of our other videos as well like five pesos or ten pesos and then there's even one for seven pesos but i like that because it kind of keeps it clean and whatnot Keep nice little shop here you know local shop buenas tardes. buenas tardes so we are moving along haircuts you get you a nice haircut right there he like you know he would know he would know. Yeah, I'm, I'm bald. <laughs> he would know, guys. All right, guys, walking around more so in the local area. We're showing you guys what you really want to see over here to show you that it is wonderful in this city of Santiago de Caretro. All right. And we headed over here towards the La Cormier. And um, you keep straight. Okay. We will come upon it. Let me take a little shot. Look at all those colors there. Oh, buenas tardes, lo siento. So, some of the side shots, side views on each of the individual blocks. What block is this here? I'm not sure. Can't see with that pole in the way. So we are continuing on our little, a little stroll, a desert stroll. Hey guys, and if you would like more, if you would like more videos like this, we're trying something new, we're doing our daily content videos. Impromptu, yeah. Yeah. So if you would like more things like this, check it out. Let us know. Little local shop. So if you need to get something real quick, a cup of noodles, things, you got your little local shop right there. You exchange your agua de garrafón, you got it. All right, guys. Let's follow my handsome husband. Run, 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 run. Guys, I'm back in the back. They have furniture back here, mattresses and things like that. Going around. Appliances, microwaves. They also have an electronic department. Fumes, 
coming soon. All right, guys. All sweaty and disgusting. We're out of La Comer. And my husband actually he did a heck of a job trying to get some footage in there because uh, they were starting to report him on the walkie-talkies. Guys, we always go above and beyond, but we gotta we gotta try to chill out on that because we're actually we're putting out ourselves at risk for our equipment to be taken, and we don't want that to happen because we already had to replace this camera recently, and that was a pretty penny. So on where we go, guys. Yep. Guys, we made it back to the house and we are very, very tired. We had a long walk ahead of us on a nice but very hot day. I'm going to show you real quick what I do. I mean, it's so simple. A toddler could do this literally, but it really makes a difference in your meat. So balsamic vinegar doesn't have to be this brand. It's great for tenderizing your meat. If you don't have that, you can always use other things. I've done lime. I've done red, um, red wine vinegar. Just depends on what you like. Um, go ahead and pour that on. I'm not going to give you a mouse because for the most part I don't cook. I cook with a feeling. So it's all about feeling. Unless it's a new recipe that I'm trying out then I may start off um, using whatever's recommended as far as seasoning goes but or amounts go. But um, once I get the hang of it I'm going to make it do it my own way. That's black pepper. So garlic pow powder, onion powder, Salt, sea salt. I like sea salt. Again, it's a feeling. Pesci, I'm not cooking for you. And I'm gonna go ahead and give this baby a toss. And literally, this is gonna just, uh, I prefer to have something like this marinite, ma excuse me, mar <laughs> I'm real tired. Mar <laughs> marinate overnight, but Today I just decided to make four pieces quick. I don't feel like doing a big, big dinner. Um, so I'll go ahead and have it marinate in the fridge for a couple of hours and that's still good enough. It's perfectly fine. And then over here, I'll add a little more onion powder and a little more garlic powder and it smells really good already actually. And that's pretty much it on the chicken. Give them the toss, throw it in the fridge, cover it, throw it on the grill. Last thing over here I'm not going to show you because this is going to be real basic. You can add seasonings, but you know what, honestly, I found that the best burger comes from basic salt and pepper. If you want to put a little garlic powder, you can. We'll go ahead and make those patties and then we will um, put some nice barbecue sauce on them. So, guys, we will show you the, product, the finished product a little bit later on. And this is it for now, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, live the life that you were meant to live. Keep a grateful heart and remember, why not now?